Hello stalkers, today I want you to relax a bit because I'm going to show you a mod that will help you feel a lot more comfortable in the zone. This is the hideout furniture mod. This mod will allow you to buy furniture and items from traders and it will allow you to decorate your hideout wherever you want to set it up. This mod comes with many modular options, also modders can add to the system and some of them already added a huge selection of new items and furniture. You can interact with most of these items that you can place. And you can organize your loot in special boxes which can store ammunition, weapons, medicine and even food. In Gamma they have a very basic version of this mod but now we have two extra new expansions for Stalker Anomaly. Which gives you a lot more options to pimp out your hideout in many different ways. The expansions also add a fridge to store the mutant meat which also prevents the meat from rotting if you are using RZ's meat rotting mod that is. There is also a small stove and a cooker oven which you can install a gas balloon in it so you can become the master chef of the zone. You can also use uh, certain items like this metal table to block a passage to your hideout. This mod has a special placement system which allows you to place items on objects and even attach them to other surfaces. Also if you play in the bug mode you can further manipulate the item by allowing you to refine the placement and rotation of the objects that you are trying to place. Well stalkers we are halfway through this video so make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new to my content. I do a lot of stalker anomaly and gamma guides and I love testing new mods and show them to the stalker community.
By the way, if you are looking for more survival mods, check out my best survival and realism mod list of 2024. It will show up when this video ends, so you can combine this hideout mod with many of the mods in that list. Now I'm going to show you two hideouts that I have built in two completely different playthroughs. Okay, so this is my ISG character and I'm playing in free um, mode or, you know, not story mode. And actually, if you play ISG and you start in Jupiter, it's really, really, really hard because you are pretty much enemy to everyone. So you have to, like, try to disguise yourself and try to make friends with freedom, you know, and uh, the other factions. So the funny thing is I have a hideout inside these uh, sewers and you can actually hear some bloodsuckers running around because you know it's night time and I have noc nocturnal mutants installed right now so they will come out at night so you have to be very careful where you're going to sleep and this is exactly where I set up my hideout here you have to walk a little bit, but I think it's better, you know, because get some distance from the bloodsuckers. Okay. So I set up some lights here. I got a nice uh, bedroll. This is from one of the expansions of the hideout furniture. Got some lights. Right, I got a nice workshop. We're gonna show you how this workshop uh, actually works. Got some lights here, got some more lights here, right? Got a nice trophy of a bloodsucker. So this is a medical box. I, you can store medical stuff in it. I got also a pouch where I have, uh, you know, some items. Also have this crate where you can put some food. And this is my... Uh, stash like my first stash that you make from the backpack got a radio of course I can't play the radio or uh, YouTube is not gonna be happy you know but you can actually hear some blood suckers yeah I hear that so this workshop actually has some really uh, it has a really nice feature if you hold spacebar right you can do open advanced UI and you have X, uh, access stash just acts like a stash then you can put all the tools that you can find you know uh, uh, um, basic tools expert tools also you can use the um, what is it called gunsmith tools yeah and then when you press spacebar once it opens up just like you know any uh, what do you call them any workshop right and as you can see you have all the tools here so you don't have to like carry them around, get them out of the stash. They're just here and they're just ready to be used, which is really nice. Okay, so this is my ZCP playthrough and this is actually a mercenary and he is basically a bounty hunter and I live just up there, right? Up there, there's like actually a roof and you can pretty much set up camp there right so I'm gonna show you how my hideout looks there but I'm also gonna show you how to access it right, so you go here and uh, the nice thing is that there's a lot of stairs right so stalkers and mutants can't really get to you and then there's also a ladder Gonna try to run here because there's many stairs, right? But this is a great way to keep your stalker fit. There it is. We get up here, and as you can see, it's almost a collapsed roof, right? But it's very good place to set up your hideout. And as you can see, I got nice cooker here. I got a fan. I got this some uh, you know some stuff here. Got some weapons. Some outfits and parts so I can craft and this this stash here is actually from the game so it's really handy because like you, can't, you don't need to like use your backpack as a, as a stash you can just use this one the only problem is there's an emission right or a side storm it's going to affect you 
So I have to I had to basically make this stand here because this stand is psi and you know blowout proof. Although I think it's a bit realistic. But uh, yeah, that's how the game works. So I have a a sleeping bag here, right? I set this thing up. I'm actually pushing it here. I don't know why. There you go, stay there. But yeah, this is hideout in that city right i'm gonna show you how it looks like at night it's gonna get a little bit scary okay so it's nighttime. I actually have a torch here right i have a torch here and very important to turn off these items because they have their own uh, battery source right so you have to like change the batteries and the way i play zcp with uh, nocturnal mutants there's no traders right it's only like it's very similar to basically days and as you can see there's somebody there there's i'm pretty sure there's a stalker there right yeah you can pretty much snipe here on top of this roof and then go and pick up the uh the loot that you find on the victims that you shoot basically but yeah this is how I am playing ZCP now, and there is someone there. If you see, seeing me here. And there's a bloodsucker, he's attacking him, so I'm just gonna leave him. And let Mother Nature, or the zone, take care of that guy. Yeah, that, that guy is pretty much done and as you can see there's many blood suckers around hope you stalkers found this video useful if you have any questions about this mod write down here below in the comments i have a lot more exciting content for stalkers so make sure to subscribe and follow me on youtube bye and thank you for watching